Hello everyone, today we're doing the Mad Cash Achievement, which is part of the Sky Pirates Living World Season 1 story episode. We're in the Metrica province. We were at the Cottle Waypoint. And this is actually the Goem's Lab Jumping Puzzle. And we're pretty much going to be going through the entire puzzle as the Aetherblade cache is right at the end. These ones are worth taking your time on. These are the type of stairs that once you've died a million times, all of a sudden you can't get, and they were easy in the beginning. Speaking from a pure experience here. So the way this works is each zone, whether it be stormy or windy, they have two gates. The first one is an entunement, and then the second one is a safe point. And you cannot get through the portal without an attunement. So if you lose your attunement, that's fine. I've lost my attunement, went back to the Windy Station. Not all is lost. You don't have to redo everything as long as you've hit a save point. And make sure to grab your attunement. Even if you have the buff, clicking this will restart the timer for 20 minutes. And you never know how long you're gonna be spending in the next area, so it's so worth it just to top it off. So this branch is going to have two gusts of wind, pass by the first one, wait, and then pass by the second. Be careful of this wind gust as well. I'm very fortunate that I was knocked back still on this vine. So the way this one goes is two short, a nice pause that you can cross, and then one long gust of wind, followed by another pause in which we can cross. And then we can speak with our golem and this will be our save point. So getting hit by lightning can really alter how you jump, but I don't seem to care. Do a diagonal jump here, it's a little easier and make sure to grab your attunement. So this one is the most challenging in my opinion of the entire area. So we're in the exact same area we're just in, but now we're gonna be going through the other side. But we get a save point after this, so that's fine. And my portal means absolutely nothing if I fall into thin air. So just waiting for the timing of this wind. Two short, one long. And this lightning, be cautious of. It can really mess you up. That's refreshing. And our save point. Now going forward, we will always start in the chili station. And this one is one of the easier ones. You just have to be patient. So if I was to jump down there, I would get a chill. So we can see I have a chilled debuff. I pretty much don't kill anything. There's only one enemy I kill. Everything else I run by. Huh. 
So this dude can be annoying, so just be careful. Get your attunement. Now, this guy right over here is worth killing. He has range attacks, which can really mess you up on these jumps over here. So same as before, wait for the chill to disappear. Grab our save. We are officially all the way through. And our Aetherblade cache is right there. And we're so close to the end of this jumping puzzle that you might as well finish it after getting this cache. So defeat Goem, and then there's a magnificent chest just on the other side. Rare treasure.